All right, guys, so I tried to fix the seat belts last time. Did not go well. As you can see, they're still hanging out the bottom. So for $30, I bought these from eBay. My local junkyard wanted something like $24 for seat belts. I decided to just go ahead and go with eBay for $30. And I bought, I think that says auto friend safety belt. I don't know, it cost me 30 bucks. Biggest concern I have, how long this is. I'm worried it's not long enough. But in any case, we're gonna go ahead and replace it. And this S10. First, I'm gonna take the seat out uh, simply because it'll just free up so much room. I gotta get up under it anyways for those seat belts. It would be easier if this was an extended cab truck, but since it's not, I don't feel like fighting this seat all the time. It's not that hard to take out. Four bolts, one here, one's back there. And the same on the other side. Let's go ahead and get the seat out and then we'll take the seat belts out. All right, so we can see where the belt goes. You've got four screws, one here, one there, one there, and one there. We're gonna take those out and that's going to expose, for whatever reason, because GM hates its customers, the Torx bit that is about right in this area right here. So let's go ahead and get these four screws out. So right here beside the seat belt is our bolt. Let's go ahead and soak it down with some PB blaster. And then uh, got it top and bottom. Let's get that joker out of there. All right, not gonna lie. To get these bolts out here, I had to use my big boy. Oh. DeWalt because the little one actually would not do it. I had to get my big boy impact to get these out. Uh, they look fairly corroded and also hate Torx bit. Luckily the kit came with regular bolts. They do seem to fit right in the hole which is good. As you can tell this belt has two parts. That was a lap belt, that is a shoulder belt. These new belts only one part so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off right here you can use a whatever you use to cut with I'm gonna cut this off and then we're gonna mount this up here on the top and so we're gonna see how this goes mount this up here with the reel facing downwards but first like I said I'm gonna cut this off i'm not going to record cutting this off because i don't want to focus on the camera and cut myself i also did not record taking the bolts out with the impact because it got so loud and the truck actually rattled so bad i was worried my camera would fall over uh, so you're going to have to have something with a lot of torque to get these bolts out and i sprayed the fool out of them and it took some torque. I had to get my big boy impact. My little boy impact would not do it. I, I even tried doing it by hand. Would not do it. All right, so I'm gonna cut this off and then we're gonna mount this joker up. All right, so be sure you do not damage the existing bolts because they have to go in your new kit and they don't quite fit. They just won't, they won't quite go. So you gotta drill them out. Uh, you also have to drill out, if you're gonna go ahead and do it, the buckles as well. This one I bent, uh, trying to make it hopefully work better, but you gotta drill these out. They don't fit automatically uh, if you're doing this on the S10, because you have to use these because the ones that came in the kit with these don't quite fit. All right, so right here in this hole, I'm gonna hang the seat belt upside down. Right there. If I can get it in there. Just like that. So, whew, a little bit loud. Let's go ahead and hang that joker up there.
Okay, uh, let me see what we got here. Oh, right just there. Belt comes out of there. Here's your buckle, and it's bolted where the old one used to spit out. Right there. And then here is our buckle. So you'll sit right in there, just like so. As I said before, my biggest fear is the buckle itself being tall enough to get over the seat. Uh, I, th I think I'll be all right. Um, looking at how much room I have there, judging from where the holes are in the seat itself, I will probably end up bending this um, so it's more of a 90 degree angle, uh, straight up and down, uh, so it fits out of the seat. I am, however, very impressed at how this turned out. Uh, it was pretty, pretty uh, uneventful. Happy at how it turned out. And buckle it up like so. Now all I gotta do, like I said, is bend this and bolt the seat up. I may not even have to bend that very much. Um, but uh, that will be a tomorrow project. Because it is beginning to get supper time and I gotta feed some babies. So, I'm gonna pick that up tomorrow. I'm gonna leave off here now. All right, so as it sits now, all three buckles are in. I have kept the middle. I had to cut the plastic off of it, but all three belts are in there. Now we get to fight the seat to see if that fits, which it should fit because it came out of it. I'm gonna put it in without the camera because I don't want y'all to see me struggle with that. Catch you in just a minute. All right, the buckles are in. They look good i don't like the middle seat belt i probably will probably replace that i kind of want to keep the gm though it does look good uh, but as you can see they work and they'll lock now will this protect me in a 200 mile an hour head on collision no no i mean let's face it this is a 85 10 can will it help in any sort of collision, more than likely. Will I pass inspection now? That is the most important part, and that is correct. New seat belts, universal seat belts I bought from eBay, cost me 30 bucks. Took me a little bit to do, a little bit of modifications, but able to do it in this 1985 S10. And they do work. Hope you liked it, hope it helps. Thank you much.